I've got yet more stationery. <laughs> I'm back again with yet another stationery-esque video. I've only done one of these before but it was actually quite fun to film. Uh, you guys seem to enjoy the last one or well quite a few of you watched it and I didn't, don't think I've had any comments or anything on it but I really enjoyed it. You guys seem to watch it and so I thought why not do another now that I've got a load of pens that were cheap. <laughs> um, so these I've got a few notebooks, a few pens, and then like a, like one other thing that my sister picked up when she finished work one day because they were super cheap from Asda. So like I've got the receipts here. The the notebooks were literally 25p. Um pens were like 40p. Pens 30p, pens 30p, 30p. Stationery £1.50, so I'm assuming maybe they're like the fancier pen. So I've got a lot of doubles of pens because I get a pack and then she'll get half a pack because that's how life works. <laughs> so I'll show you I'll show you them both just so you can see them. But I'm really happy because a lot of them are the eco-friendly ones, you know, like made from the recycled materials and I love them so much. Uh, I've actually still got <laughs> They, actually, they are actually quite good. I did say that in the last video that I was worried that they wouldn't write. They're quite good. I love them. Amazing. I'm so excited for... We've actually... Uh, I've joined the um, Raising and Giving Society at Unit, which is a charity society. And the national charity that I suggested was Friends of the Earth. So I'm really excited about doing that. And I've started doing... Um, eco brick so it's where you get a plastic bottle and then you can fill it with all like bits of things that you wouldn't normally recycle so like um i don't really produce that much because i don't eat a lot of like packaged stuff other than but i eat like a loaf of bread and then obviously when i'll have the whole loaf i'll put the packaging in but i don't eat crisp or sweets that often so i don't have like packaging everywhere um, whereas my sister and my mum, they eat like crisp and sweets and quite a lot of stuff that's like like how you get like meat in the packaging and stuff like that, whereas I'm not about that life. Um, so once it's like clean, you can put it in the eco brick and then when it gets fully compact, we're gonna, I can either take it to like a local centre or collection centre where they do it or we're gonna be doing a collection at uni for them. So depending on how many I make, I'll see where we're at can take them to. Anyway, that was a bit of a ramble and tangent from the video, so I shall get to showing you some books and pens. That is a lot more interesting, I'm sure. First up are these um, like to-do lists. I have a f one up there, but I can't be bothered getting up and reaching it, that I've had quite a while, so you just sort of, I used it for my EPQ actually and my uh, teacher was quite impressed at how organised I was. Same thing off on each one but you like put the date at the top. Um, I think it might be better maybe instead of having it like, it's just a day. So maybe if you had it like a week maybe, I don't know. It seems a bit much for a day to me. I don't really know how many tasks I'm, maybe like each bottle of water that you drink so instead of putting like drink three bottles drink drink a bottle then drink a bottle and then drink a bottle i don't know that's something to think about actually because uh, i think the old one that i had it was weekly up at the top i did use it quite a lot i stopped obviously when the whole quarantine happened so i should try and start again being good with a diary so i was so good with a diary i showed you guys i was so proud and then it all went downhill, and I've not had a diary since. I might start one actually, because I'm going to... One of my... Um, in... Is it biology and practice? Yeah, in biology and practice, one of the end assessments is writing a formative report. And the, so it might be a good idea to maybe start having... Jot down stuff that way. I shall do that. It might be better doing a digital diary though. I don't know. Anyway, um... We have a black one. This is where you're going to be like, why have you got so many? It's because it's for two of us and my sister does like writing down a lot of things. 
then a green one which I think is probably going to be hers but it's actually really nice this colour it doesn't show up that well on camera it's a really nice grey one and then a really nice pink one it's like a bit pastel-y as well ooh this one's oh it's so it's orange on the inside and pink on the outside so, so the other's like that I didn't notice that so the grey one is black oh and the green one's blue oh i like them actually that's impressed me i really like them so these ones uh uh some really nice pack pens the pink but the pack pens at the same time so it's amazing rechargeable refillable rechargeable what does that mean i don't know i've never actually wrote with a pack pen before Instead of buying a new, obviously, like a new pet plastic pen each time, which I'm guilty of. I'm sorry. But I love pens so much. <laughs> They're just so amazing. Um, you just buy the ink and re put the ink in. So I may have to sacrifice, if I like them, I may have to sacrifice, reduce my carbon footprint of pens. I do recycle them when I'm done, though. That's just making me really upset now. So I've now come back from my existential crisis a bit about wasting so many pens. A bit, I'm saying a bit because I'm still sort of annoyed at myself. Um... Oh, these ones I've never actually seen before. Right. And I'm excited. Did we have only got one packet of these? I've only got one packet of these, so... Oh, she won't remember what she bought. Um, I'm transferring out money anyway. Um, so the big. I apologise. I keep saying so. I had no idea they did colour ones. I don't know how. I've, like these ones are okay to write with in the black. I don't think I have any at the moment because they're not the my favourite. But I don't know whether that's just because. I got cheap ones before. So I don't have any at the moment because every time I've wrote with them, they've not been super. Like they're okay to write with. It's just like holding them, but these look quite soft. Yeah, I don't know whether you'll be able to see, but like this whole bit is like a bit soft, like a softer looking plastic than further up. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, it does actually say soft feel. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. I'm such an idiot. More colours that I have. Uh, some more like fine point. Fine. Fine point. Fine. Fine liner. Fine liner. Uh, coloured. So I have two of them. So there you go. Pastel colours. Uh, six fine liner pens. Pastel. Bic. Intensity. I've never seen anything like these before. Um. I've never seen Bic do fine liners like in this style before so I don't know whether they do like normal colours you know like dark blue, dark green, red, them types of colours or whether they just do the pastel versions but pastel is love, pastel is life when it comes to stationery. So perfect for fine writing, drawing and drafting, vibrant colours, fine width, not 0.4 millimetres, I think they were, what were these ones, a millimetre? Yeah, they were a millimetre long, so these are smaller, obviously, because the fine point, mm, uh, I don't know how pastel they're going to be, because I really struggle finding grey and purple pastels, they are an issue. Also, that blue does look a bit dark, it doesn't look like I've got the, for comparison, that's the colour of the pastel highlighter blue. And that looks quite a bit darker. So the green is also slightly darker. Can you see sort of like there? I don't know if that is supposed to be like an orangey or a yellow. But if it's yellow then it's a whole lot darker and a whole lot more orangey. Purple. I think this actually purple may actually look lighter than others but I always struggle with the highlighters that I get they're supposed to be purple pastel purple and they're always just like super dark like these ones are 
um, novelty shark ones that I got and that is supposed to be the pastel purple so do I have any paper? Is the only white paper really not a yellow? Oh I've got some labels see that is supposed to be the pastel purple on that I know it's n not the smoothest it's because it's on a roll and cheap um, and these are the only ones that I've found that are actually pastel so we'll see how they go the greys they're always awkward they can just sort of look so bad and so terrible but we'll see <laughs> next ones uh, should I switch it up a bit? Should I go back to the notepads and then finish off with the pens? Because I really love these pens and I'm really excited for them. Yes, let's do that. So, uh, another exciting feature of notebook. Uh, <laughs> so these are made from cert. Is it certified? Does that what they say? Certified recycled paper. It's not just normal recycled paper. Certified. So they're just so cool. Um, the new, which are the same as them ones, but I don't think they're made from recycled plastic. Uh, they aren't spiral bound, cause, so obviously they don't have the metal or the plastic. They're just sort of like the. Is it, they're not perforated. The glued in ones. They're not hard back though, and they've also got like hole punches, so you can put them in files. Here at New Notes, we are working to make all of our products more eco-friendly, and this is just the start. Every detail in this collection has been carefully considered. Not only have we re used recycled paper and covers, we have even used be vegetable based ink for printing. Ah, oh, that's awesome. We are proud of our new range and have taken great care to ensure that new Evolve is recycled and also recyclable. So please help the environment to, too when you finish using it. I most certainly will. Um, so it doesn't feel any different in fact if I was to say if it felt different and it actually feels nicer <laughs> um, so yeah it opens quite nice it's got like the little logo at the bottom I'm super chuffed now that it's actually got recycled like vegetable based printing on it as well ah uh, um, the back cable bit is quite a bit thick like it makes up the majority of the book so it's adding a, probably a bit of weight that you don't actually need and like probably have that amount and that'd be even better so I'm very happy about these very happy I hope they do like a smaller version as well I've not seen anything else of this and obviously there was nothing else there otherwise my sister would have got it um, so I'll keep an eye out for this collection actually because I wouldn't mind paying like full price for it if I saw it but I've not been able to go out because of the whole lockdown thing so all the stationery that I've got like I did in the last haul was what I'd saved over the past couple of years and then all this is what has been on sale from this year's back to school but obviously I've not been able to go and have a look at it so she's just picked it all up um, so I have three of these uh, I'm not sure how we're going to split them if I've got three We'll see what it comes to. I have got a lot of paper that I do need to go through. And then on to more stuff I'm excited about. Um, so I actually quite like zebra pens. I don't write with them that often because they're again quite expensive. Um, but recycled again. So these are eco-friendly ones. Um, they are ballpoint. Uh, contain seventy-eight percent recycled materials. Um, doesn't include refillable ink Ref recycled material rate does not include refill or ink so obviously the ink cartridges and any refills that you get may not be recyclable doesn't say what they're made out of like if it's what if like do you get what i mean like it's recycled materials but is it old pens or is it like an old bottle which i'll get onto awesome um jimmy jimmy clip eco so they have like a binder clip as well i love the ones where they have like a clip on them so that you can attach them to stuff 
because like I can put them on a pocket and stuff like if it's just a normal bit then I tend to lose them they are zebra pens I was thinking I'm sure they're zebra pens so like you can see they're the thicker ones I quite like writing with them they're really smooth gorgeous so these have got a bit of a different shape grip they are a bit thinner in comparison so we'll see what they're like um, so we've actually got four of their ones so like four packets so eight altogether had to think then for clip mats they're so cool um, I'm still waiting for more of these ones to come back in I've never seen any of these anywhere I do know they sell them in Smiths as well but I've never actually seen them in Smiths not that I've really browsed whilst I've been at work but you know what I mean and then these ones I got a while ago and I may need to show them to you because I forgot them in the last video but I've not wrote with them yet because I wanted to save them for a video to show you guys and it's these they sell a brand like this I got these from Asda again uh, quite a while ago though when I went one time with my mum and they're made from recycled plastic bottles so it's not just like any old plastic or like an old pen it's a bottle that's been made into a pen I think it's just so cool <laughs> so gel ink pens recycled from bottles pure plastic I'm assuming these again and a recyclable interior yeah, well maybe they are it doesn't say they're not you might be able to buy um, just pure refills for them because it does look like you can untwist it so maybe it is completely recyclable as well I hope it is so it's a three pack and it comes in different colours so it's not just like generic black pens I get a red pen uh, the blue is me I would maybe would have preferred a green but I know a lot of people do like writing in this I'm really excited to write with these now that I've shown them to you um, my next goal is to get them pencils or pens where you can plant them when you're done with them I've seen them loads of times before in like adverts I think Bunny's done a video on them as well uh, where you once you're done writing them right once you've finished with them then there's like seeds in them or something like that and you can plant them in your garden and grow like vegetables from them so that's awesome and um, I do need to go to the works at some point I think and have a look around there maybe the range I've not been there in ages. When, I know I'm so upset as well. There's no, I can't go to Skirfest. I've been waiting three years to go to Skirfest for when I was 18, and like I could actually attend during a weekday that I didn't have college or whatever because I won't be in uni every day, and I'm not. And Wednesday would have been perfect for me to go because I only have lectures in the morning, and then I'm off on the Thursday. But no, Skirfest has to be cancelled because of COVID-19. There's always next year. I'll make it to next year first. I promise. I'll do a vlog. Um, and then the last um, bit that I said. And then I also said there were like just some random bits that she picked up for me. One of them, um, it wasn't on sale. It was just something that I asked for. So I've got a pack of mul a multitude of googly eyes to stick on my conkers because I d we did a conker collection the other day and I'm going to stick some googly eyes on my conkers and then hide them around the, the house so that we can scare off spiders now that it's getting spider season. Uh, and then another bit that is super cool and I'm going to be having loads of drinks now because I got that cup the other week that my mum forced me to get for the far... Uh, Halloween which is here I've not got any fluid in here at the moment though uh, and then there is this one which is I suppose I could use it for uni maybe like early morning next year when I actually go and have to go the numerous days uh, an early morning instead of being stuck at home it is like a little flask uh, it's, it says polyjuice potion on it it's got like an oldie old timey potion label on it and then it's uh you can see the hogwarts crest the hogwarts crest sort of faded in on the green uh it's got like so it says from the 
Apothecarium of Horace E. Horace E. F. Slughorn. So it's actually Horace Slughorn when he when he was was maybe when he was Potion's professor at Hogwarts or maybe just something he stole from the Hogwarts store. <laughs> um, and it is official. I'm just going to cover the bottom bit up because it's a surprise. Uh, it is official Harry Potter merch, uh, and uh, also, yay! <laughs> um, it is. Uh, made from recycled materials, BPA free, uh, sustainable materials, wheat straw travel mug. Uh, um, so, reuse, refill, reduce. Over 1 billion cups end up in landfills each year because they are not recycled. Reducing our carbon footprint now is now essential. Using materials repurposed from wheat straw, a natural resource, our reusable travel mugs are a sustainable way to contribute to saving our planet. Enjoy your drinking style whilst being eco-friendly. So I don't drink that much. <laughs> um, so if I do was to start drinking, like there is a Starbucks at like unit or like just getting like a normal cheaper coffee that is the exact same or making my own at home and taking it in the car hopefully when I pass my driving test and I can drive myself there please um uh, I can take this with me I originally thought that it was just like a normal cup and you couldn't put hot stuff in it like it might have just been insulated for cold because it's not got like the burn protector on it and it doesn't actually seem that thickly insulated so I don't know how well it will keep the heat in I'm assuming maybe the straw will incorporate itself into that but you can see like the texture on it that drops off from what I'm assuming is the bits of straw can you sort of see the speckled like it's all like that on the inside as well um, the lid is just sort of so it's got like the little tabby thing to pull off easily and then it's just a twisty open and close lid. There's not a, really a locking mechanism on it. Um, so, uh, let's read furthermore. Our natural wheat straw travel mugs are made from wheat fibre composite, uh, non-slip and smooth finish to give you the perfect grip. Yes, thank you very much. Although there isn't like a grip on it um easy to clean and dishwasher safe don't have a dishwasher but good to know for people who do made with a heat proof lid to keep drinks hotter for longer that's what surprised me because i didn't think it would hold hot drinks because of how light and how thin it is um ideal for busy schedules and travel so for a busy witch or wizard if you want to put some nice warm liquid in it that's perfect for you these were the two pound thing so that is the most expensive thing that we got but very cheap for official harry potter stuff so we got myself one and then another one for my sister and stuff so yeah and i'm sure the bpa3 thing is just like quite reassuring to people i know there is i've not actually read that much up about it there has been is it i think it's this year has it been this year there's been quite a lot of stuff about it, like how it affects your health and stuff but i've not actually read up on it maybe i should I pro not maybe i should probably should read up on it considering you know scientists and all but it's like a i think it's a chemical they put in the plastic and people are worried that it like leaks into you right yes that is the whole collection very emotional such an emotional roller coaster this video has been I was happy, I was sad over the fact that I weigh so much plastic with pens, but then I was happy over the fact that I've got a load of eco-friendly pens. I promise I recycle all the pens that I use and that uh, that I use and then I, they've all used up. My tower is just not knocked over onto me. Also, I don't, I don't think I've shown you her, has I? Look at how awesome she is! She's amazing! Um, I'm hoping to get Hitoshi at some point and also they've just released, well I've just seen like loads of people on Tumblr a couple of weeks ago with the Danny Phantom figures and I've been looking on eBay but they're like $100 and then that's not even included shipping so I don't think I'm going to be getting him. I've been meaning to get like some different ones like maybe some uh, more Marvel ones so I'll just have to see. I only got get them when they're like cheaper. I don't really like spending 
a lot of money, as you probably know. Um, so yes, I'll pop the back there. Also, I don't think I've shown you Matt Lock. Look how awesome he is. He's, he was made by Rach Makes. I got him for A-level results day from Punny Dukes. Very adorable. So yeah, he's my little protector. And he's called Matlock because Punny Dukes is in Matlock and I thought it was suitable. Um, right, I've got a job to go and stick on some googly eyes on some conkers now, so that may take me a while. I hope you've enjoyed my emotional roller coaster rambling session. I've actually quite enjoyed this, it's been therapeutic. <laughs> so, right, I'll see you again. I don't know when I'm going to be doing another stationery haul now. Everything's gone off sale, maybe next year. This year it's just not even existed. Oh, but I'll just keep having an existential crisis in the entirety of the video. I'm going to go before I have a mental breakdown on camera. <laughs> Bye. Cool, I'm so excited about this. Oh no. Um, so there was, I need to stop saying so. It is my goal in this video to not say so. Starting now. Right then. Um, there was a, so. Hmm.